This is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you and today what we're going to do is we're going to juice something that's very uncommon. Many of you guys actually may not have juiced it and may not even know that you guys could actually eat this fruit. Yes, it's a fruit raw. I know many people may consider this a vegetable because, you know, it's sold in the vegetables and it's a squash and squashes are vegetables, but technically all squashes are fruits because they contain the seeds. So I like to consume a diet that is rich in my fresh fruits, but also my vegetables. In any case, what we're going to talk about today is butternut squash. And what we're going to juice today is the butternut squash right here in the Omega Vert 330 HD juicer. Now, besides the butternut squash, which I have a few examples, you can juice other squashes. So many people may juice things like uh, zucchini squash, which is another squash. And you, if you let zucchini get really large, it'll get something like this. <laughs> and then the, uh, the skin actually turns very hard. And yes, you can juice the skin in certain juicers. That being said, the skin of butternut is particularly hard and actually can mess up some juicers. So you may want to peel it from any juicers if it's not the Omega Vert. Uh, in addition, you can juice other squashes such as we got here. This is actually a sunburst squash, quite beautiful. Or it actually could be a little UFO. <laughs> so uh, yes, you can juice all the squashes and that's my preferred method of consumption of the squashes especially when they get big or hard like the butternut. Now, butternut's really good to juice because it's really rich in nutrition because it has the beta carotene. The beta carotene is because of that orange color, much like in carrots, has beta carotene. But the butternut squash has one up on the carrots. It also has the alpha carotene and also a host of other phytochemicals and phytonutrients, including a lot of antioxidants. Provitamin A is probably the highest in the butternut followed by vitamin C. Some studies have shown that butternut squash and eating a fruit and vegetable based diet can be anti-inflammatory and just be good for you. So uh, that's why we're gonna juice it today. And uh, what we're gonna juice today, we could juice straight butternut and drink it. It wouldn't taste so good. So what I'm gonna do is actually uh, dilute it down with some apples. So in general, apples and squashes are in season at the same time. And I always encourage you guys to eat seasonally whenever possible. So what we're going to do next is actually just uh, get started juicing. It's really easy to juice butternut in the Omega Vert. Yes, skin and all, but don't juice the little uh, the stem here. We'll pop that little stem off. We'll compost that. The main thing you want to know when juicing the butternut is you need to cut it properly. you got to cut it into small little cubes so that the juicer will be able to handle the skin. If you put nice large pieces of the skin in there, then that actually may stop the juicer and actually may cause it to uh, not work and potentially even break your screen. So it's very important if you are juicing butternut squash, uh, dice it up into small cubes, and yes, you can't leave the skin on with the Omega Vert, although I can't guarantee you could do that with any other juicer. So to juice the butternut, we're gonna cut it into small cubes, and the easiest way I've found to do this is number one, use a strong knife. So I have a, a steel knife here that's really sharp and durable, and we're gonna cut this up so we got the butternut on its side here, and we're just gonna cut it down. And in general, I like to actually cut off the, uh, the bottom part and also the top part here. Much like you would uh, cut the top and bottom off the carrot. So you can see we got it like that. Then we're just going to go ahead and uh, cut it into pieces. This does take some strength, so you know, but be prepared and make sure you have a sharp knife. It makes it a lot easier. So now we're literally just cutting this into uh, butternut squash discs, much like little frisbees. <laughs> hey, actually, you know what? Dogs like to eat butternut, so you can actually uh, throw this to them, have them catch it, and then they get to eat it. <laughs> so we're, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this rest up into discs, and then we'll show you the next step. So I'm at the bottom of the butternut, and we've cut it all up. And you can see some of the discs here, and then we actually got some uh, nice uh, butternut rounds over here. So when, once you got it into this state, what you're going to do is you're going to take a few discs, and just we're just going to chop them up into little cubes. I like to stack this up to make it nice and neater. Hey, if you're playing cards, you could like <laughs> use this as cards. Pretty cool. So we're just gonna stack a few up here and once again, just uh, cut right down. This is gonna make little like oversized French fries. And then we're gonna stack these up and uh, go the other direction to turn it into some butternut cubes. So you want them, you know, about this size. This is probably about the biggest you want it. And yes, I'm still keeping the skin on there. Remember, much like in apples, a lot of the nutrition is actually next to the skin and near the skin. 
so we want to keep the skin on whenever possible. That being said, like I said before, some juicers may not handle the skin well because it is very hard. What I'm going to do next is actually uh, turn the rest of these butternut squash chunks into cubes. So I got a whole pile of butternut squash cubed up and I got the last piece here. And you might be wondering, John, what do I do with those little seeds inside there? See those little seeds right there that I'm <laughs> throwing at you there? But anyways, yes, you can put these seeds through the machine, through the Omega Vert. You know, the Omega Vert can handle all seeds, like pumpkin seeds and smaller. Um, and they actually juice up. You'll get a little bit of fat content out of the seeds. What we're going to do in this last piece is, once again, very simply, we're just going to cube it on up. Alright, now that I got all the butternut squash cubed up, the next thing is we're going to pre-cut a few apples. Uh, one of the things I like about the Omega Vert 330 and 350 HD models is that they're literally auto-feeding if you pair your produce properly. So for apples, we're just literally going to cut it up into some pieces so that we can drop them in. It's uh, very simple and very easy. As long as a piece will actually fit in the feed chute, you're good to go on the apples. You don't need to cube these guys up. Uh, now, it's very important when using the Omega Vert is to uh, rotate the produce you're putting into the machine. You got to put an apple because the apple's really soft. I could literally squeeze the apple and squeeze some juice out of it, but I can't do the same with the butternut. You know, I can squeeze as hard as I want, juice is not coming out. So if you're uh, juicing things that are soft that you could squeeze and get the juice out, you need to put that in, followed by something you can't squeeze the juice out of, and that'll help the machine push that fiber through the angle turn here to come out in the collection bin. It'll also assure that you're gonna get the highest level of yield. Now, one of the challenges that many people have with the Omega Vert series of juicers is that it makes a pulpier juice than other juicers, and that's just the nature of the beast. Every juicer has its pros and its cons, and one of the cons of the Omega Vert is that it makes a pulpy juice. So uh, what I like to do, instead of using the standard catch cup here, is I went down to a local big box store, and you could get a little uh, Pyrex or Anchor Hawking four cup uh, measuring cup, and I got a standard strainer. All you gotta do to get remove the pulp is put the strainer on top of this and put it right below, and this fits really nice, and you're gonna go ahead and strain all that pulp out so that you could have a literally pulp-free juice. Uh, I guess now that we got our produce prepared and I explained that to you, next step is to turn this guy on. Uh, I like this machine because it runs at 80 RPMs, which is 80 revolutions per minute, which is really slow, so it's relatively quiet. So if you got kids sleeping in the morning when you're making your juice, you're not going to disturb them like other juicers that run up to 10,000 RPM and literally have been described to me as an airplane taken off in my kitchen. So uh, we're going to go ahead and turn this on. It's pretty quiet. We're first going to start out with the soft stuff, the apples. Put one apple in there, and now we're just going to put some butternut squash in there. It's very important uh, when feeding the machine, don't just keep cramming stuff in there and don't use the pusher. As you can see, I'm literally just dropping things in there. It literally sucks it right in, starts juicing it right up. So we're gonna pretty much rotate a piece of apple and then some butternut squash. And as you can see here, we're getting some delicious orange juice coming out. Now this is not orange juice, but it's orange in color because of the carotenoids and antioxidants and the phytochemicals that are so valuable and beneficial for us. You know, a lot of people think you gotta cook the butternut squash because it's such a hard squash to extract the nutrients out of, but when you're cooking the food, you're lowering the nutrition of the food and killing all the enzymes if you're heating it above 118 degrees. So by juicing it, you're gonna maximize those antioxidants and phytochemicals so that you can be as healthy as you can. One of the biggest challenges with Americans these days, in my opinion, is that, you know, a lot of Americans eat a lot of junk food, and a lot of junk foods are high in calories but low in nutrients. The food that you're seeing on the table here are actually low in calories, but high in nutrients, and that's the way I believe everybody should be eating. And the Omega Vert 330 HD allows you to maximize the amount of phytonutrients and phytochemicals to get into you because those things have been shown that they can help prevent disease. In any case, this is going really well. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, juice some more apples in here, followed by some butternut and uh, continue going. So this is juicing really well, continuing to put the apples, followed by the butternut squash here. And uh, every once in a while, I just shake down this strainer to uh, get some of that juice in there. And uh, what you're gonna notice is that on this side, the pulp is coming out. So you're getting the apple pulp and the uh, butternut squash pulp. And uh, every once in a while, you're gonna have to push this down. If the container gets full, you're gonna have to um, empty it. And this is the pulp right here. Check this out, I can squeeze this pulp 
and literally no juice comes out. This machine is very efficient at juicing the apples and the butternut squash. So I like this one a lot. I guess uh, another question you guys might have is, hey John, can I juice the little apple seeds? Well, uh, based on my research and what I choose to do is I choose to juice the apple seeds. Now while they do contain cyanide in small quantities, I don't personally believe it's a problem, but if you're concerned about it, I would encourage you to remove them. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and continue uh, juicing this stuff to make one tall glass of fresh juice. So we're putting some more apple in, once again, followed by some butternut, followed by some apple, and then by some butternut. And we're not even done uh, juicing, we still got a lot of the butternut and we got two apples left and we've already created literally three cups of juice right here. Now, once you put the last piece of produce in the Omega Vert, you wanna let it run a while. You don't wanna just put it in and turn it off because, you know, it takes time for the produce to feed through the machine to come out. How do you know what to turn your machine off? Well, take a look over here at the pulp coming out. If the pulp, pulp stops moving and stops coming out, then you're ready to turn the machine off. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn this guy off. We're gonna go ahead and uh, shake our strainer down a little bit. I always like to move the pulp catch bin uh, under the juice spout, so if any drips come out, it goes into there. I then like to just usually just take the pulp and I'll just uh, put that on top over here and uh, check it out. We got some delicious butternut squash apple juice. And check out this texture on here. That's nice and clean. Virtually pulp free now. And it looks just like a dark, deep, rich carrot juice. Mmm. That is absolutely delicious. This mostly, to me, tastes like apples. You could barely taste the butternut. The butternut does add a nice flavor, but also a really good sweetness. Uh, juicing butternut in the Omega Vert is probably one of the best juicers that I know of to juice butternut because it is a nice hard squash. And remember, by juicing your squash, you're going to get more of the nutrition in it instead of cooking it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode learning more about how to juice the butternut squash to make a delicious butternut squash apple juice. Once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.